All right, folks, and welcome to Procreate. So we took a look in an earlier lesson about the basics of color. So you have hue, saturation, lightness, that kind of thing. So now we're at a more advanced level where we want to talk about something called a palette. So let's go ahead and open up our color disk there. And let's go ahead and move over to palettes. So palettes are a nice way to go ahead and save the colors that you're working on. So especially if you're transferring this between you and another artist, if you are exporting a palette, you're able to share your colors. And if they are importing a palette, they will be able to use the exact same colors you are. Now, let me show you how you might be working so far, right? I'm just going to give you an example, nothing you have to do with this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a brush. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a painting brush. I'm going to grab the damp brush. I'm going to crank the size of this bad boy up. Okay, I'm painting and I'm painting and I'm painting. All right. Now I decide, you know what? I want to do a little bit of yellow. So I'm painting and I'm painting and I'm painting, right? Common stuff. So now I want to go back to green. Oh, well, okay. Now I got to hope, and hope is a strong word, that I get the same color of green. I did not. Okay, so epic fail, right? Palettes, clear that up for you. So let's go ahead and start a new palette. So we go to palettes, you see the plus sign, we go ahead and we add one. Now you see it's called untitled palette. We're going to go ahead and we're going to call it test one. And I did that by just clicking on that unnamed palette. And then you see default is checked. If it's not, you can set it to the default. And what that means folks is down here with the disc, when you slip on the disc, you'll see this is the palette that comes up at the base. Super useful. Okay. So I've got test one as my default palette. I created it and I renamed it. Now let's go ahead and we're just going to tap with this green color inside here. That just added a swatch. That's the official technical term to that palette. So now if I come over to red, and I tap again, goes to red. I always like to keep a solid black in my palette, goes to black. I can go to blue, and eh, we'll go to this purple. All right, so that's how you add a swatch to a palette. Now let's say that I'm gonna add a black and some grays and then a bright white, you know, and I wanna separate these things. Watch how you can rearrange the swatches. You just click and drag down onto a lower area, or if you don't want them there, just move them right below. Having some problems getting them exactly where I want them there today. All right, so that's how you can reposition the swatches in a palette. And now let's say that, well, you know, I really don't like that color of purple. Just tap on it and delete it. Now that's how you delete a swatch from a palette. All right, good deal. This is pretty simple here, so let's give this a shot. We grab our same brush, same exact thing. We start with the green, and we're working, and we're working, and we're working. And now I come over to the palette, I swap over to the red, and we're working, and we're working, and we're working. And now I want to go back to green exact same color of green we're in good shape all right that's the beauty of a palette folks all right now let's say that you get in here and you're gonna make a palette right but now you don't want the palette anymore as an example I made this untitled one swipe to the right or I should say to the left and click the delete key it'll say delete palette yep so I'm going to go ahead and delete this test one. Delete. Yep. All right. Now, let's say that I have certain palettes that I like time and time again. This one here, my gray palette, which currently has the default de designation, is my go-to. I really like that one. That is the one I use for all my grayscale rendering and everything else. Swipe to the left, and let's go ahead and hit share. Now, as we showed you earlier, right, you know how to hook up files through Dropbox. 
So you can go ahead and copy this to Dropbox. And now we're going to copy it to my Procreate course and hit save. And you'll see that it saves the grayscale swatches. Now that is what is called a swatch file. And now I can give that to you guys. It's included in the downloads for you to use. So that is how you export a palette. All right, now let's check out the last thing here. Let's say now I want to import a palette, right? I haven't showed you guys how to do that. Now, we're going to go back to Dropbox. All right, gang, so now you've learned how to export a palette. Now I'm going to show you how to import a palette. And it's not straightforward, right? I wish it was a little bit easier. You come over to Dropbox. You find a palette you want. Let's try medium deep swatches. These dot swatches files are the type of files that you're going to import. And now you go over to export. You make sure you've got this app icon here and it recognizes that it's a procreate file. iPad's pretty smart about that. Now what just happened doesn't look like anything happened. There is all the medium deep skin tones on here. Let's do that one more time. So you see it in action. We come over here. We're going to go over to Dropbox. We find the skin tones that we want, the dot swatches file. We export, we open it in Procreate. And now we should have light pale gold right there. All right, folks, now you know how to import a palette, export a palette, add a new palette, move around colors on a palette, add colors to a palette, and delete a palette. All right, in the next lesson, we're going to show you how to create custom swatches from existing media using the color picker to create your own palettes. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next one.